QI Macro's control chart templates for attribute charts are really the combination of several different templates. To view the available templates, look at the bottom of each control chart template file. To open any of the templates, Q click on the QI Macro's menu, go to Fill in the Blank Templates, SPC Charts, and you'll find the attribute chart templates toward the top. There's one for the C chart, G chart, NP, P, and U chart. Let's take a look at a sample of the P chart template. If we go to the instructions page, it will list all the available templates in that worksheet. And again, you can look down at the bottom for each template. For the P and the U chart, there is a template uh, using skyline limits or flat line limits. There's a rolling chart template, a standard chart, which will use wavy lines, short run chart that will evaluate if you have small runs of different parts using a target value. Unique to the P chart is a P for NP less than 5 chart. Unique to the P and U charts are the prime chart templates. And then for all the other attribute chart, uh, chart templates there's a fixed limits chart and a chart for horizontal data. And again we'll use the P chart template since that contains the most options. So for the P and U charts again, we have a template that will include the skyline or flat limits. Um, like any other control chart template, the input areas are highlighted in yellow. You can show your process change by inputting an item in this field here. And if you want to run stability analysis, you just click on the chart. And you can tell you've got the chart by the boxes around the edges. Click on QI Macros pull down menu and analyze stability and it will run stability on your data. This is the skyline chart. Uh, next to that is the rolling chart. The way the rolling chart works is it allows you to only show the last X number of data points. So let's say that every month you're adding a new data point but you only want to show the last 12 months of data. You would just go over here to the rolling box and let's input a 12 there and you'll see that the chart will then only show 12 months of data or the last 12 months of data. When I add a new data point, this point will disappear and the new one will be added on to the end. So let's look at that real quick. I'm going to add a new point for December. and you can see that this is my new point here and the old one uh, got rolled off. That's how the rolling chart templates work. Again unique to the P and the U chart um, there's a separate skyline but this is the wavy limit chart that you'll find for each attribute chart. If you just toggle between the two you'll see the differences. The flat or skyline don't show the one and two sigma lines and they um, have straight lines as the limits as opposed to the regular attribute chart which has kind of a wavy limit. Each control chart template will also have a short run template option and you'll use a short run template if you have a small sample size so this is if you're uh, like manufacturing very unique items and, and there's very few of them so instead of using your data to calculate your control limits they are based on a target or average value that you will just input into the template itself. Right now I have 0 .003 as the target. As an example, I can change that to 0 .005. We'll copy that down to all the rest of the area. And you can see how it kind of centered my data just a little bit better. So that evaluates your data against a target line and then the sigma lines are calculated from the target. This um, P for NP LE5 is unique to the P chart only. And again, you'll just type in your data and the calculations are a bit different uh, for this particular template. We have the P prime chart. There is a separate video explaining the usage of the P prime chart, but it essentially again um, loads the data over your regular skyline limits. And again, and the difference here again is in the calculations behind the scenes. P chart for horizontal data. If your data um, is going across in rows instead of in columns, you can just cut and paste it into here and it will draw the P chart or any other attribute chart for you. And then finally, we have the fixed chart. The fixed chart allows you to actually input 
historical values over your calculation. So over here we have the calculations for the upper control limit, the average, and the lower control limit. And based on historical values you can go in here and you can override that average and you'll watch the chart change as I do that and it will actually uh, plot your data as compared to whatever um, new thing you override. So people usually use this when they're um, comparing their data to his historical values. And again, that probably wasn't a very good value to put in there. Let's try a different number. Oops, that's the value I put in. There you go. So you can see it evaluates it based again on the target and you can also override the upper and lower control level um, control limits if you would like. And those are all the options available to you in the QI Macros Attribute Control Chart Templates.